Hey, Shalom, Most High Christ blesses Officer Israel here in Louisville, Kentucky at the 2024 Funk Fest. You got rappers such as Jeezy, uh, Boosie, Too Short, and various other artists. A lot of people out here dressed all out of order. Women half naked. The men, they don't know what to do. They out here all out of order. Tight clothes on. Hey, drunk, high. But the prophets of God are here to wake the people up. And Lord's will, one of them repent. With that, I think so. Watch 15 minutes with the captain. Watch 15 minutes with the captain. Yeah. Yeah. We just put up on your church. Uh, bring that Bible out and show our people what they worth. That black ain't a What we got to be happy about when we out here on the river finna dance and party to the most destro destroying songs music ever. Trap a guy, wipe me down, set it off. You know what I'm saying? What are, we, what are we promoting for real? Like, I'm, I'm just trying to figure it out. I thought when we got older, we're supposed to leave all that stuff alone. Right, who, who got to feed that family? Hey, guess what? Guess what, though? If Boosie, if Boosie repent and follow the commandments, he wouldn't have all them kids by all them women. He wouldn't be whoring out our women and, and making baby mothers, single mothers, and just paying them off the money. That destroys the family still. It still destroys the family. So guess what? He don't need to... Uh, Hey, no, to his point though, peep this out. You said he need to feed his family. I mean, but look, slavery, yeah, slavery right fucked up the black family. I agree with you. But the thing about it is we be forgetting who can provide for us. You understand? Watch this. Watch this. Hey, give me a few scriptures right here. Matthew 6 and verse uh, 20, 26. This is the book of Matthew. Chapter 6, verse 24. What's your name, bro? Brandon. All right, I'm Gabriel, bro. Watch it. No man can serve two masters. Nobody on this earth can serve two masters. All right, you agree? Check me out. Brandon, you agree? All right, come on. For either he will hate the one and love the other. So either you're going to hate one and love the other. That's universal. Just like, I want you to think carnal for a second. You got a woman. No, but if you did have a woman, can she serve two people? Can she love you? And, can she love you and another nigga? It's impossible. You can't love me while loving somebody else. You see, you love me and hate the other, or you love them and hate me. Come on. Or else, he will hold to the one and despise the other. That's universal. It's impossible. Just like women. Women know a man will uh, love them if they dealing solely with them, right? If they deal with another woman, do they truly love that first woman? It's impossible. Well, unless you think otherwise. We say we be dividing all. You love this woman more than the other woman. You hold close to one and you despise the other. We go. The, 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 but he loves the one. He hates the other one because exactly, exactly. Watch it. You cannot serve God and mammon. You can't serve God and money. It's either you love God or you love money. You can't serve both of them. And you know who your God is by what you put over the commandments. Watch it. Therefore, I shall, I say unto you, take no thought for your life. You said what? Take no thought for your life. God said, don't take thought of uh, your life. What does he mean by that? Don't be overly concerned with everything concerning your life. Come on. What you shall eat. What you gonna eat. Or what shall drink. The reason people be committing wickedness, fast money is the best money to them, right? Because they, they want to provide for themselves, right? But if they had God at their forethought, they wouldn't be thinking about stuff like that. So what, what am I saying? God is they... The money is they got. They have everybody out here dressed uh, provocatively, got they got their cheeks out. They got the man out here, ain't even married to the woman, decide to chill with him and bring him to a boosty concert. To what? Are you, you agree on what? Every woman ain't got their cheeks out. I ain't say I ain't say everybody had their cheeks out. But you can't take away from the back. Now look, 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 look. I'm just look respectfully. Look. You see the green? Okay. You with it? So Brandon, bro, why you ain't on this side? To hell with all that. That's 
why I'm telling you, take no thought about all this other stuff. You got to take, yeah, your mind must be uh, occupied in the statues of God. Give me one scripture, uh, Officer Joshua 1 and 8 right quick. Joshua 1 and 8. I'm going to show you one more thing, Brandon. The reason we ain't prospering as a people is because we put God second. How about you, Brandon? Well, let's, I'm, 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 how about you? Let's remove it, brother. You said they. The hell with everybody else. What about me? Do you put God at your forefront? Oh, I, 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 I got a lot of faith in God. Okay. I'm keeping it in the front. I got into it. 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 I so, so with that in mind, has it made you start thinking about God? Yeah, I think about God way more. All right, watch this, watch this, watch this, Brandon. The book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. But now, he said the book of the law will not depart out of your mouth, Brandon. Every time we speak, we deal with our brothers who need to be thinking about these commandments. Come on. But thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written. There is. You, gonna, you, gonna, you have to hearken to everything that's written. Why? Come on. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. Well, he said, then will your way be prosperous. When you meditate on the commandments on a daily basis, John, uh, Brandon, not when you're on your deathbed getting hit by semis. You got, that's when you're going to make your way prosperous. You can't wait for you to be afflicted to meditate on God. You understand? Where is it? Yes, yeah, yeah, give me that, give me that, give me that. Job 36, 15. This is the book of Job, chapter 36, verse 15. He delivereth the poor in his affliction. What? He delivereth the poor in his affliction and openeth their ears in oppression. He delivered our people, the poor, in their affliction. That's why when our people start seeking God, when they get jacked the hell up, then he said he going to open your ears. That's probably why you write her starting to understand where you come from because you've been oppressed, bro. You know, no press, Brandon. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is 